Placing a YouTube video within a Word document is relatively easy and can actually make your documents much more interactive and can be quite useful. So the video is sitting in here as a shockwave object. To be able to work with it, we're going to have to use this developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab in your uh, tab menu there, right click on any of these tabs, go to customize ribbon. In the customize ribbon area here, click on main tabs and you'll find the developer tab here. One click on that, click add, it'll bring it across to this area and then click OK and you'll now have the developer tab. Within the developer tab we're going to use two main areas. This is the design mode and the properties mode. We'll click on design mode and you see I've got a properties that I can click on for this. Now I'm just going to click underneath here because this is where I'm going to place another copy of this video. This box here, Legacy Tools, one click and then we have another that very similar looking tools menu here which is More and we're going to click on that. And this brings up the More Controls area. We're going to scroll down to S, I've just pressed S to shortcut my way down and we're looking for the Shockwave Flash object. One click and OK or double click will bring in the new Shockwave object. So here's my object here and I'm going to resize that bring it out. I'll make it slightly bigger than the previous one that I've got there. This is my object. I can move it around and do all the normal things with an object. We can format it so that the text wraps around it. I now need to click on the properties and I have this shockwave properties box. It's already sitting right here on movie which is exactly where I want it and I'm going to have to put in the movie Earl that I want. Here's my YouTube page. I've already highlighted the Earl We'll do that again. I'm going to copy that Earl and I need to paste that in here. Now we make a simple change. We're going to remove the watch and the question mark and we're going to replace the equals with a slash. So I'm going to click in here and remove the watch question mark. On the other side of the V I'm going to add a slash and delete the equals. And that is all I need to do. Then I can close this. Now we're still in the design mode so the video hasn't loaded yet. If I click again on design mode it loads up my video and it's ready.